What's good, YouTube? That one ain't You're back again once again. And today, people, today we are back for episode number 14, if I'm not mistaken, of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, we took on PK Sparks for our little Wi Fi battle that we do after every gym leader. And then we left Mallville City and we made it out here to Verdant Turf Town. We found the Mall of Light as well without even trying. It was just boom, up in your face, boom, pow, surprise. And then we also scooped up, whoop, our Zigzagoon, a little HM Slay. We bust up the rocks up here and uh and uh, that's where we ended up it was a really eventful episode last time <laughs> by the way today you guys we're going to be taking on the contest hall here in verdant turf town because we done one contest already a few episodes back i think it was episode 10 we did the contest hall in uh slateport city and we met lysia and i asked you guys then if you thought we should do more contest and you guys said absolutely yes do some more um, I was content with just doing one because it's like I'd like to at least showcase everything in the home region in our Let's Play. But you guys said you enjoyed it so much, we're going to do another one. And if, as long as you guys keep enjoying them, we'll just keep doing them. They're like little pit stops in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the LP. How many times did I say in the just now? But either way, if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Alpha Sapphire, make sure you smash out the like button down below for us. Because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And above and beyond, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you demolish that like button down below for us. You that, you that sincerity. Make sure you demolish that like button down below for us. But if you happen to have any friends relatives, close acquaintances that aren't a member of the Nappy Nation and you think they'd enjoy having a home here, share the video with them as well. Let them know. Say, hey, yo, big dog. Let me tell you something. I can't even do it with a straight face. Hey, yo, big dog. Anyways, you guys, let's get a quick party update for you. Uh, we didn't do any grinding or anything like that. We didn't go back and battle any trainers because we're just doing the contest episode right now. But by the way, we have Loudmouth, our Loudger, level 21, holding the metronome to power up that echoed voice. He's also rocking Bite, Astonish, and Supersonic. Then we have Rollo, our Mightyena, who has the Black Glass, which we found the last episode. But he's rocking uh, Fire Fang, Howl, Roar, and Bite, which, of course, the Black Glass is power up. Then we have Alex Luis, our starter, who is now a Marsh Stomp. He's rocking the Expert Belt, which powers up super effective moves. But he's using Tackle, Growl, Water Gun, and Mud Shot. And then last but not least, we have Met Tang, our little event Beldum has evolved into a Met Tang. He's rocking the Quick Claw, which has popped and came in handy before. But he also has Hold Back, Iron Heads, and Headbutt, and Iron Defense. So. The question now is, what competition will we be competing in? I just closed all this out, and I have to open it right back up again. What competition will we be competing in? Uh, we have tough, beautiful, cute, and clever. Cool, 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 and and tough. Tough, tough, cute, cute. Tough, tough, clever, cool. Mm, looks like we're going to be doing a cool competition. If we can get one more tough move on Metang, I could try it out. Like, if we end up replacing Holdback with a tough move. I wonder if Earthquake is tough. I wonder if it is or not. Either way, I'm still a noob, a beginner at contests, but I have a ton of fun when I'm doing them. Some of you guys left some uh, helpful comments in the episode, episode 10 when we did it, and some of you were saying that we have to actually start using Pokeblocks or else people are going to stop cheering for our Pokemon or something like that. I don't, I don't remember exactly how it went down. Um, but I'll, I'm learning as I go. Trust me, we'll 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 pick up stuff as we go, and we'll see we'll see what ends up happening. You damn right, you! I want some motherfucking special effects. You got me all types of joked out. If you don't think I'm be doing any special effects, and I had an idea. Never mind. I had an idea, you guys. You know how we have the free for all series on the channel, which BT Doves, some Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire free for all should be on the way soon. But, oh, she's going to change our Pikachu, which we're not even using. <laughs> but, uh, you know how we have the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire free for alls, and you know how there is online contest, right? I was thinking, what if we did online contest with a few other Pokemon YouTubers, and if you guys enjoyed it enough, we could turn it into a series and just run with it. You know, I enjoy it, and I think it would be hilarious. Like, could you just imagine, like, me, PK, David, and Nick? doing like a cute competition that shit would be hilarious i'm thinking about it and i'm laughing but either way let me know what you guys think about that idea for a series in the comments below but uh let's see what we can do here let's see what we can do here. but again let's let's make it even simpler and easier for you guys if you guys think we should do that as a series smash the hell out that like button down below for us 
Let's let's see if we if we can destroy if we can destroy. Let's let's set let's set a, a common goal for for all of us as the Nappy Nation to come through. I feel like we're doing the Wonder Rush round right now. The Wonder Rush round or an episode that's not even a Wonder Rock Wednesday. I said Wonder Lock Wednesday, Wonder Train Wednesday. If we can destroy two thousand likes on this episode, then we will absolutely one hundred percent see or look into doing a uh, contest series, inviting a few other Poketubers on as well. Let's see what we can do. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, enter. Wait, what was it? Was it cool? I think it's a cool contest. Let's check. Let's check him. Let's check him out one, one more time. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, so we're gonna enter a cool competition right now. So let's enter in Rollo. Confirm. Well, I gotta enter. I gotta press enter and confirm. Coolness contest, cause this is one cool motherfucker right here. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Contest costume, cause we want sexy motherfucker. Okay, so let's go, let's go, let's go. I, I understand that there's different difficulties to this, and I'm sure as we go, we'll, we'll enter the harder difficulties and whatnot. But, we have a coolness contest, nice and normal rank. Camden and Bolt. Is this a Manect, uh, Manectric, oh, no, no, not a Manectric, Electric. I mean, he all flashy and whatnot, but I mean, he ain't all that. I mean, let's be real, he ain't all that. Come on now. Come on now, man. He ain't all that. Molly and Ronnie, you just sound like a bunch of losers. Come on, this little nigga right here. This, this is your idea of cool. This is what you got for cool right here. Who's the last one? Gianna and Tailster. What's this, Taylor? Nigga, that's actually kind of cool. I'm not even gonna lie. I like Taylor a lot. Could you just picture a little Taylor right here? Oh, that'd be powerful. That'd be powerful. That'd be powerful. Nappy and Rollo, let's go. Let's go! Look at oh my god, that's so goddamn cool. I wanna be like you when I grow up, nigga. Oh my god. Hey, wait, no one no one cheered. What was up with that? No one cheered for us. That's a bad omen right there. I hope we win. I hope we win. Alright, which move will you use? Let's see here. We this is a cool move. It's jamming, quite an appealing move. Causes the user to move later on the next turn. Works great if the user goes last this turn. So I mean I could go for Fire Fang, next turn go for Roar, and the turn after that go for Hal. Let's just let's just go right out the gate, go for Fire Fang. Let's go. Let's go. Yo! Does this say Dungeon Defenders in the background? Yo, it's using my camera! I just realized that. On the 3DS, look at the background. It's using the camera on my 3DS. Yo, how did it do that? I just took a picture. Why is it doing that? I didn't do that last time. Yo, gee shit, look, you can see my computer screen. What is going on right now? Why? Look at my keyboard. <laughs> what is happening? Coolness really excited the audience. And we got the fifth star. Not the fifth star, fifth heart, nigga. That legit just creeped me the fuck out because he said Dungeon Defenders 2, and I'm like, why is the Dungeon Defenders logo in Pokemon? And then I thought for a second, I was like, do I have anything on the 3DS? Is like pulling some image? Because like I've known games to that before. Like in certain racing games on Xbox or whatnot, you can like listen to your own Xbox music through the game, whatever. And I'm like, is it just pulling pictures from my 3DS? And I'm like, wait, PK just sent me this 3DS yesterday. I haven't put any pictures or anything on it. Not that I would put pictures on it at all. The only thing I use my 3DS for is Pokemon. So it's like, what is going on? And then I realized it's the camera because I have a Dungeon Defenders 2 mouse pad that I got from PAX East. <sighs> okay, so our strategy was to go for Fire Fang, then use Roar, so we go later in the turn to use Hal. Nice and substitute. I know I said in the last competition that dude, that was whack as fuck to bring, but we just shoved that nigga out. So that's sick as fuck. Really excited the audience. Let's go, nigga. Let's go, nigga. I don't know why this has... I am keep taking pictures, goddammit. I don't know why it has the camera like that on there, though. I'd rather just have the actual audience background. To be honest, TBH, nigga, TBH, TBH. Okay, so what we're gonna end up doing is. I actually might screw us over. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, we didn't have any, we didn't have any other option. We didn't have any other option. We can't use Fire Fang twice in a row, so. Whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. And he used Hal this time, because he's last in the. You sneaky son of a bitch! You sneaky son of a- you know what? I'm about to get five real quick like. That's gonna be us next turn, cause we're gonna be using Hal. Suck like a dick, bitch. 
You think you better than me? You think you better than me because you use how? You use you use my own strategy before I can use my own strategy? Nigga, fuck you. Light screen? That's not cool. Light screen is not cool. That is nerdy. It, it, you go to the nerdy competition. This is the cool competition. Come on now. Echo voice? Ooh, I see you, big dog. That's actually kind of cool. Ooh, I see you, big dog. And Aaron, you're just, you're not cool at all. Just get off the stage. Get off the stage. He got four hearts. Okay, time to shine. Let's talk about big dog right now. Come on, yo. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. It's so cool. Hadn't been standing out much. You, 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 you kidding? You got me all types of joked out right now, fam. We are the front runner. Motherfucker. Talk about standing out. Radiating from Rallo Nonstop. Moonlit Pledge. Yo. Yo! That is so sick! Oh my goodness. Yo, look at all the hearts we just scooped up. Yo, fuck this Electrite. Yo, come on now. Come on now. This Electrite, and he don't stand no chance. I mean, what we could do, we go for Fire Fang again, or we could go for Roar, and then Hal. Because number four, we have five. I think that's better off for us, because if we go for Fire Fang now, then we have to either use Roar or Hal again next turn, and that's... that's no. Let's just go for Roar again, and get the three little hearts, and watch the Electrite go for Hal this turn around. I'm going to go for Roar, so it sets us back last turn, and then we'll go for Hal last turn, and get a whole another crazy applause like that. Really excited the audience. Woo! You get their Jimmy's wrestling from us. Ah, we still got four hearts out of that too. So I mean, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. Feeling pretty calm and like, yo, get off the stage. I told you this once already. I'm gonna punch you like a football and probably break my foot because you're a little iron bastard. <laughs> Come on, yo, get out, get out, get out. Kuna's is really excited. The audience, nobody cares. Yo, how did he get a star? What does the star mean? Like the star down there, not on the top screen, on the bottom screen. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Does it represent a star up there? See, I told you it was going to use Hal. Stop it. Stop this. You're not cool. See, you only got one heart for that. We got like 16 hearts, nigga. All right, so last turn. We're going to go for Hal. We're going to go for Hal. This is it. This is it. This is for all the marbles right now. It's for all the motherfucking marbles. Bite. Isn't that tough, or whatever it was? Because we didn't use Bite, and that's our fourth move. So why would you go for that? That's so stupid. You're so stupid. Oh my god, you're so stupid. Do you know how contests work? I mean, I know I'm new and all, but do you know how contests work? <sighs> Come on, yo. Yo, that, wait, wait, wait. That Aaron got a lot of point, a lot of hearts for that. Is he trying to make a late-game sweep here? What are you doing, yo? Turn down. See, he still has that star. Why does he still have that star? I don't understand. Alright, let's talk about the part. Let's talk about the part. Show him your how, Rallo. Show him your how, Rallo. Show him your how, Rallo. I like how our star meter is filled up, too. So we get the fifth star right there, and we get the, the pledge moonlight, or whatever it was called. Hit it one more game for us. Hit it one more game for us. Hit it one more game. One more game. One more game. Moonlit pledge. Oh, this is so powerful. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. He's like Mufasa. Look at all them hearts we be getting, yo. <sighs> Long as these bitches love me. <laughs> okay, so talent round is complete. Let's see what let's see what the, the final results are. What do we get? 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 I'm so nervous that electric got me on the edge of my seat. Yo, fuck them. Yo, the electric needs to stop. Electric needs to stop. We got first place! We got first place! We got first place! <laughs> I mean, I know we're playing on the first, the easiest difficulty, but for someone that's new to contests and actually taking them somewhat seriously, I'm happy that we're doing so well. I mean, then again, we are using Pokemon to have three of the moves that are in the type we're playing, but you know what? Just, just ignore that. Let's just, just bask in the glory right now. Just bask. Just bask with me. That's all I need you to do. Just bask with me. Bask with me right now, okay? That's all I need you guys to do is just bask with me. Can you bask with me? Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we don't we don't have to we don't have to mess with this no more. And like I said, as long no, I'm not saving this photo to the SD card. 
Not <laughs> saving though for the SD card. Congratulations, Nappy Pokemon performed the best. Next time you can enter your Pokemon in the super rank of the coolness contest. So the idea is that we're gonna do a different uh, uh, type of contest each time. So like we did cute the first time, then we did uh, cool this time. Oh, wait, 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 you wanna give me some berries or anything like that? Huh? Huh? He gave us a Lumio's Gallet! What? That's sick as fuck! Yo, I love the cross references in this game. The old Gato. They are powerful, powerful references. I swear to God, we already spoke to her, right? Yeah, she gave us a tract. That's powerful. I don't care what anybody says. But yeah, so next time we do a contest, if you guys, like I said, if you guys are enjoying it and you want us to do contest halls more often, uh, or every time we get to the new city, um, we'll try and do, like, um, we'll try and do, like, a different, uh, style of contest. Like, we did cute the first time, then we did cool this time. Maybe we'll do tough next time, or clever the time after that. Didn't it used to be smart, and they changed it to clever or something like that? But either way, we'll see what we end up doing, and if we end up getting to the point where we have to do multiples, like, we have to enter cute again, because we just don't have anything else that's, like, logical to enter into, then we might start messing with Pokeblox, but it is what it is, either way. I just want to get the full experience of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. That's really all I want to do. And I figure right now, since I didn't get the chance to, might as well just check out Vernon Turf Town before we leave. Let's just speak to everybody real quick, like. Let's speak to everybody real quick, like, before we leave, because I don't know if I'm ever going to be coming back. Are going to be coming back here? Let's see what we can do here. What about you, little Cub Scout? What about you, little Cub? Wait, wait, there's another guy up there. There's another guy up there. Hey, 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 Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. I'll at you. Let me, I'll at you. That was Wanda's house. And what about you? My shroomish got lost. It disappeared around the sign. Where did it go? What sign are you talking about? Oh! Moo. Mush. What is happening right now? I, I don't know why I accidentally clicked the sign. I meant to go around the back of it and see, but... Oh, Mush you! Thank you so much for finding my shroomish! I'll give you this. I just found it. It has a strange shape and it looks amazing. An intriguing stone. Huh. I wonder what the intriguing stone does. I have a feeling I know what it does just because some people. <sighs> I try to avoid spoilers as much as I possibly can. But when you're in a Skype call with other Pokemon YouTubers that happen to be further along in the game than you are, they'll end up talking about stuff. And I have a feeling I know what I'm supposed to do with this intriguing stone. And I have a feeling I know what the reward is too. So, let me see here, let me see here. Let's make our way through Verdant Turf Town and see if my hunch is correct. See if my hunch is in fact correct. Let's run, get us about, get us about. Look at this loud, loud mouth, Loudred speaking to the Wizmer. Tell him to calm his ass down, bitch nigga. Calm your ass down. Hey yo, oh no, we don't have, we don't have, what's his name? We don't have cut on us. Hey wait, is this Mr. Briny? Who the hell is this? Oh, it's you! You're that trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods and also got my case that was stolen and then graciously delivered it to Slateport. Captain Stern informed us that the case arrived safely. I thank you very, very much. If I, if I were a rain cloud, I would shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. For you, most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. Recently, our company has developed a new kind of Pokeball. As a token of our appreciation for all your help, we would like to give you one. Repeat ball. I was gonna say, cause Mr. Briny was here last time we were here, now he's sitting here. Please do try it out, thank you and bye bye! Okay, if you say so. I was gonna say, if we had Whoop with us right now, we can go up here. Oh, god damn it, we don't have him with us, and there's no way- Oh wait, 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 this house is open right now! House is open! Bum, 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 bum. We could just catch this little nigga right here and teach him cut and go to town, but I'm not uh, that concerned about getting up there right now. So let's get away, let's get away. I want to check out this house, and then I think I know, like I said, what I'm supposed to do with that intriguing stone. Because somebody spoiled the game for me. Oh, what are all these niggas in here doing? Did you hear the tone of Vernon Turf has gone through? Sometimes, yeah, 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 yeah. What about you? Huge crew, lazy machine, ready to stop. Negative effects, uh, yeah, you lazy bastards. Alright. So, what do we learn here today, kids? That house has not a goddamn thing in it. 
<laughs> okay, so let's just get up out. Let's get up out. Our destination, our goal is Rustboro City. <sighs> Wait, why is this sign crossed out? I saw that the first time we came through and I never looked at it. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, like a bucket. Okay. I have a feeling there's a certain old man who, funny enough, I never realized that apparently, and this might be a spoiler for some of you guys, so if you're if you're not sure of this, then just go ahead and just pause, 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 pause. Don't don't worry about it. Hmm. No, oh, that intriguing stone you have. On second look, it seems to be Pidgeotite, doesn't it? To be killing around a mega stone like that, it looks like you're also a bit of a connoisseur. Yeah. Like I said, that was spoiled for me a little while ago. Wait, wait, what did he say? Oh, that, that Pokemon you have, could it be that rare white specimen? That cannot be more than that cannot be more than one such specimen in the world. So pure, so sublime. Its sparkle is indeed the ultimate. I would love to see how it would stand up to Steven's Beldum. So apparently, like uh, I was saying before, uh, spoiler alert. Uh, I guess it's not that big of a spoiler since it's been around for 12 years, but I mean, I didn't know, and some people on Twitter didn't know, they couldn't put two and two together, but apparently, that's Mr. Stone upstairs, and that's Steven's dad. Now, some of you guys are laughing right now, because you're like, Nappy, we knew this for 12 years, yada yada yada, but when I was a kid and I played through the game, I always just assumed his name was Mr. Devin, because you got the Devin goods from him, he's the CEO of Devin itself, I just assumed his name was Mr. Devin, I didn't think twice about it. God damn it, I should have gotten... Whoop out of the PC, you son of a bitch. I just assumed his name was Mr. Devin. I didn't, I didn't put two and two together. It was whatever for me. But his name is Mr. Stone. He is Steven's dad. I've already taken enough ridicule for it because people were tweeting at me like, oh my god, Nappy, you're like 12 fucking years late. What the hell? You call yourself a champion and you don't know that. Nigga, I did that song two years ago. Turn down. I still, to this day, and there goes my monitors again. Stop going to sleep. Jesus Christ. I did that song two years ago, and it's just a song, and people still give me shit when I don't know something about Pokemon. They're like, oh my god, I thought you were a champion. Yada, 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 yada. The bitch, it's a song about Pokemon. Calm yourself. Calm yourself, please. Please. And if I have to speak internet lingo for you youngsters out there, plocks. 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 Calm yourself, plocks. Woo sa plocks. Plocks, 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 plocks. Watch me not sync that one up either. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode right y'all. After we get back to Vernon Turf, and I think we'll probably have a grinding montage in the next episode where we just take on these trainers on uh, the route in between uh Verdant Turf and Mauville. And then I'll go back with Whoop and cut down those bushes and see what's up above there as well. And then I guess in the next episode, we'll be heading north of Marvel City. But either way, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Alpha Sapphire, make sure you smash that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, definitely make sure you smash that like button down below for us. And uh, if you have a friend or two that's not a member of the Nappy Nation and you'd like to invite them on board, share the video with them, let them know about episode one, all that good lovey dovey bullshit. But with that, thank you all so much for your support and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube Nap192. Aha, man.